You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, Fight Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. LSU football Tigers back on the practice field after having the day off on Sunday. Of course, they scrimmaged in Tiger Stadium on Saturday. Uh, LSU fall camp practice means we check in with our fall camp practice correspondent, Zach Von Rosenberg. For show play for I'm a horror from like even for me. Jumping out next to St. Homer, showing off on my peak. I'm the number one punter. I'm the number one punter. It's so bad still every time. Uh, how are you, dude? I'm doing great. I, uh, I'm sitting here watching Unit teach. Uh, Coach O getting on some guys right now, but uh, I don't know why he's getting on them that hard. Our D-line looked uh, looked great on Saturday. So uh, I guess I can ask it like this. You were able to go to the scrimmage on Saturday? Yeah, I was not there very very long, but I, I, I was able to see uh, our D-line dominate early, which isn't surprising this early in the season because usually the – offense starts coming around by scrimmage two or three because they got more plays under their belt so defense usually wins early and they did for sure on uh, Saturday in my opinion so uh, what would you how, if I ask you are describe how were they dominant how would you answer that um guys were getting penetration and they were we were flying all over the field especially on the d-line uh I mean that guy that I've mentioned to you a few times is just he's practicing well and he's playing well it showed up on Saturday uh, but that was Joe Evans was always in the backfield it seemed like him uh and uh, Neil Farrell uh, did, did great. And I thought, I thought. I mean, I, we, we made plays when we needed to, but uh, the D-line definitely looked dominant on Saturday. You have all, you were also the one that kind of gave us a heads up on Brian Thomas, sort of s- splashing early. Did From your observation, did that continue on, uh, on Saturday? Yeah, he, he was open a lot. Uh, the quarterbacks just at times didn't have enough time to get him the ball. Uh, but, no, he looked, he looked good. He got open. Uh, quite a well shoot hard. Sorry, but anyway, yeah, no, uh, it was it was good. What about uh, what about the what about running backs? Um, I thought, uh, I mean, we didn't do as well as we could because the defense was always in the backfield. Um, but uh, I thought uh, I thought they looked okay. Um, but again, uh, the defense was constantly in the backfield. We didn't have a lot of holes. There was a couple big plays, but most of the time, uh, the, the running backs were stuffed at the line. Zach Von Rosenberg is our guest. So if I asked you, like, based on what you'd normally say, I mean, you got to go through a lot of, of fall camp scrimmages. Um, how did that look compared to other ones that, that you've seen? Uh, sorry, the reason I'm walking fast right now, it's rain. It just started to rain. That's why I'm kind of getting out of the rain right now. <laughs> Dude, it's I'm all good. To, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to multitask here, uh, so I probably set some up. But, um, no, I mean, for our first practice, it was, it was as – expected i guess there was mistakes but there's going to be mistakes when you're in full pads for the first time and uh but uh i mean all in all for for the first scrimmage uh i thought it was promising we showed a lot of things uh that we weren't able to do last year we were in my opinion much further along uh in this first scrimmage that we weren't in uh last year's first scrimmage and uh especially uh on defense in my opinion De- the defense looks very very good saturday he is Zach Von Rosenberg on Twitter at ZVR09. Y'all give him a follow. Uh, and meanwhile, they are at practice today. So what uh, – well, let's start with some, like, gold jersey, noticeable absences. Anybody anybody back or anybody out today? Uh, Ty Davis Price is still down. He should be back soon. Uh, I don't see uh, Jacoby and Guillory either, uh, but I think he's day-to-day as well. There's guys that are banged up. A lot of yellow jerseys, which is, again, ex- expected after – uh, the first scrimmage, uh, you know, probably 10, 12 yellow jerseys out here. Okay. But, uh, I mean, that's no that's no big deal. Guys will be back in the regular uniform by Thursday and then, you know, ready for scrimmage on Saturday. What about Stingley? Uh, he didn't participate. Ned Ocean City might be out a little bit longer. Uh, I would assume he's out today? Yeah, he's out today. I'm not sure what his injury is either. I'm, I, and, again, I don't want to. You know, oh, sure. I don't want to be that guy to, to you know, no, don't don't spec- yeah. Don't, yeah, specu- don't speculate. Don't wanna... speculate on injuries. Yeah, but uh, Stingley's definitely uh, – he's not out today. So, uh, a lot of these guys are getting extra reps. Uh, Stingley's probably just doing the uh, – like they call it the Muscle Beach program. Muscle Beach is where all the rehab guys just go get an extra lift and run in, kind of strength and conditioning <laughs> stuff. Um, and yeah, it's called it's, – it's classic. Muscle Beach where you can wear a muscle shirt and you're on the, the fourth field, the turf field, lifting weights, running and doing core and extra, extra lift. 
Um, so Elias Ricks, though, who also did not practice, understand he was back today? Uh, I did see Eli. I don't see him currently on the field, but I did see him uh, early on in practice. Actually, now I do see him. He's, he's, he's doing sprint work. He might be done already for the, for the practice today, but he did come out in shoulder pads. So he's, he's definitely uh, almost 100%. Is that will fill us in with like where they are as far as a, like a camp schedule and, and progression? So they had their first you know full week of camp, their first scrimmage. So now where are they about at, at this point in camp? Um, you know, I, I would say we need to see a lot of improvement uh, with communication on the O line, um, and I don't think I don't think it's anything that won't happen. Uh, it just was more so that the D line came out ready to play on Saturday, and I think. You know, after getting that first day under the belt of our O-linemen uh, as a unit, going into that second scrimmage, they're going to have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder uh, and, and, and improve from, from last week. We won't see as much penetration up front. and uh, But I think we'll have, a, like I said, a drastic improvement on the O-line with communication and what we're trying to accomplish on offense. As far as install both sides of the ball, is that set at this point? Uh, yeah, most of the installs are in. I think uh, today that during this unit teach their emphasis is third down, and maybe they'll sprinkle sprinkle in some goal line. Uh, but right, I think the usually the first two uh, sorry the, yeah the first two weeks are usually first and second down, and then you lead up into third down and then goal line. But uh, yeah, it's right now they're definitely doing uh, third down emphasis. Zach von Rosenberg, former LSU punter, who is a join us as our fall camp correspondent. Uh, what else for the rest of the day are is going to be a point of emphasis uh, there in practice? Um, if I had to guess, um, we're going to we're going to correct some things uh, on special teams. Some of it was not not I wouldn't say sloppy. It's just guys are uh, a little bit out of position, shrinking like tightening up some holes on kickoff and making sure there's no gaps because you got to. Uh, you know, we call it clamping the field or, you know, the when you're running down on kickoff, you, you need guys to be close together so there's no uh, holes for the returner to get, get through. But uh, there's going to be, you know, again, having the first scrimmage out the way and having those first full speed reps on special teams, I think that's another thing that uh, is going to be emphasized leading into this Saturday. I'm going to ask real quickly about two other positions. Uh, you mentioned a couple times you have the offensive line shoring up. Any idea how the rotations are going on that side? Um, yeah, uh, it's but, well, it's obviously Ed Ingram, Cam Wire, uh, Liam Shanahan, Jason Hines, and uh, Austin Dekula, sir, uh, have been – well, and obviously Anthony Rapper. Anthony Rapper's out there right now, and he's been looking great this camp. So okay. that's the guys that are I see they're always on first string. Um, and then, obviously, we're going to rotate during camp. You can't be killing guys and having them do all the reps. But And they're going to, again, rotate on Saturday, um, you know, just to, to just tighten up those or, you know, to make sure everybody's on the same page and they're – to clean up the roster issues and make sure everybody's uh, on on the same speed with the uh, you know offense. You want everybody to know because in case somebody goes down before the end of camp, uh, you got to have everybody going at the same speed. Yeah, everybody. I think you know, we all know that who the starting five is. I think the big question that they're trying to answer in this camp is you know, who's who's that next unit going to be? Who Brad? You mentioned Bradford. Who are the next guys that are going to rotate in? Um, what about uh, no? Go ahead. I, I would say yeah, Anthony Bradford. If I mean you're still going to have some battles here. I, Anthony Bradford very well could be the starter. Uh, and then on top of that, I think Charles Turner will rotate in there. It, 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 yeah, it, it's going to be who shows up. And again, it's, it's going to be a health thing. Uh, we always, I hate to say this, I'm going to knock on wood, but every camp we have an O-lineman go down. It never In five years of my career at LSU, we never had a single camp where at least one O-lineman didn't go down. I don't wish it on anybody, but it's just one of those things, and that's why you got to have everybody up to par. Uh, with with the offense, yeah, I think it's the it's the nature of the position that that's why you know people are always concerned with and considerate of the uh, of the depth there. And then what about linebacker as well? A lot of people are asking about the Clemson transfer, Mike Jones, and how that rotation's going right now. Yeah, I think I think Mike Jones uh, he played a lot Saturday, but I think we need to see him more to like get a larger sample size to really make an evaluation, or at least I need to get a larger sample size. Uh, to make an evaluation on what his role in the defense is going to be, uh, but I mean, Demone Clark was in there. He looks, he looks, he's been looking really good. He's definitely a clear leader on the defense. And uh, you know, I I think uh, Devontae Strong and uh, Baskerville will even get in there. And obviously, we still have Antoine Santa, Sampa, but um, I I don't know. Again, I don't know how the rotation is going to work on defense. And with the four-two-five, I don't know how often. Uh, will be, you know, rotating. Right. But uh, it'll be interesting to see. Again, I, I look forward to this next Saturday because I'll be able to be there the entire time and see how see the flow of how things are going to work. Always appreciate a couple of minutes, man. Thanks so much. No problem. Take care. All right, that's Zach Von Rosenberg. He is on Twitter at ZVR09. A lot of you have enjoyed that and have asked, is Zach going to get more involved, do more? That's that's the plan. So we're trying to 
work on roles and carving out opportunities uh, for Zach to be more involved with us this football season. Certainly appreciate his time and getting out there and giving us a little um, a first-hand account of what he's seen out there at practice. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.